She just has a way of kind of looking, and going silent, and taking things in that is a beautiful thing to me. Mystical, in a way. I'm so glad that we have Anna and that she is different. But I would have wanted the knowledge that I could have prevented her challenges. When I found out she had CMV, it was something that neither I nor any mother I knew had ever heard of. The virus itself oftentimes causes very minimal symptoms, sometimes like a cold, a stuffy nose, a cough, but usually something that's very mild. Children are often um, carriers of cytomegalovirus and is primarily transmitted in saliva and urine. The earlier in pregnancy a woman and her fetus are infected, usually the worse the prognosis until routine screening is available and widely adopted, and it is not at this point. Minimizing your exposures by hand washing are the best thing mothers and pregnant women can do. And she came out completely silent and really small. Pediatricians came in and out and they were puzzled by her because um, she didn't pass her hearing screening and she was very small and full term. And we took her to the pediatrician for her 10 day visit and he was like, you know, she's small, she failed her hearing screening, I just want to test for this virus. Mm -hmm. And it was really to our benefit that he did because then obviously we found out she was positive and then she was able to get on the antiviral. It the, was it Gancyclovir? Valgancyclovir. Valgancyclovir. The, we did the oral one. She seems to be catching up on everything Good. except for hearing loss. Yeah. Good. And is there a plan for her to have any kind of cochlear implant? She has like bilateral okay. cochlear implant. I was shocked that this existed, that it was preventable, and that it wasn't communicated to me throughout my childbearing years. Knowing how years. long ago you had this, I would feel pretty sure that you are immune to CMV and wouldn't transmit it to another baby okay. unless it got reactivated. Mm -hmm. Chance of you reactivating are, I can't say zero, but right. super duper low. Yeah. Um, if you've never caught CMV, you're, there's a 50% chance you will get it as a pregnant woman. That's something women should know. You see, you know, signs and you hear stories about Zika. I would rank concerns about cytomegalovirus, especially affecting anyone in the United States, as much higher than concerns about Zika virus exposure. It's not mentioned at the OB, it's not mentioned at the pediatrician and Zika's all over the place. We often think about screening in terms of, do you have something that's an, a known evidence-based treatment? Mm -hmm. To me, it makes sense to screen just to know if you've never had CMV, mm -hmm. as I hadn't. Because if I knew that I had never had CMV and I knew the damage that it could do, I know that I would have tried to avoid my daughter's saliva. I might not have. I might have contracted it anyways, mm -hmm. but that's, that's far worse than never knowing about it and then looking back and saying, why didn't somebody tell me that this existed as, as I know that lunch meat should be avoided and mm -hmm. sushi and the yeah. things that really do very little. To me, it's all based on lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. If there were more awareness and more doctors who knew about it and the conversation was there, there'd be more money for studies, there would maybe be a vaccine, but until there's recognition of it, I don't think any of that is going to happen. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully with this study, if the treatment and the intervention is found to be beneficial, then yeah. it would reflex back to, all right, well, then we need the screen yeah. because we have something that we can do about it. So right. hopefully all of these things are kind of aligning mm -hmm. together. Women should know about it. When they are going to the OB and they're planning on getting pregnant, I think they should know that it exists and it can be up to them whether they get tested for the antibodies or not. She didn't crawl till she was 13 months. She's 19 months old. She just started walking about a month ago and we were 
thrilled. You know, those things were total unknowns. We just feel like she's beat every odd that was placed against her. I think she's getting ready to feed it to you. <laughs> it's hard to say I would take it away from her because it's part of who she is and it's part of our life. And at the same time, no one wishes upon their child something that makes their life harder or makes it harder for them to reach their potential. But there will always be question for me of what did that virus do to her brain? You know, if it took away her hearing, what else did it maybe take from her? And we won't ever know. All done. Oh, <laughs>